at WeatherTech Raceway Laguna Seca. Let's finish this 22 championship off. Ericsson jumped out of line. Power gets a good clean start in the Firestone Grand Prix of Monterey. This is the fastest driver in IndyCar history. Remember that later in this race. Here comes Will Power with the championship lead. Remember, he doesn't need to win the race. He just needs to stay in front of control. He's got a set of sticker blacks for this Firestone. Last in, he's back out, Speedway Fuel. But Will Power joins some very famous names as a two-time NTT IndyCar Series champion. Oh, honestly, it sounds surreal. I cannot thank you guys enough. It uh, was absolutely a team effort this year. You guys were absolutely flawless all year. I owe it to you to, to have driven my heart out today. So thank you and congratulations, guys. What's up guys, Leslie Robbins here for Young Hollywood coming to you from the Peterson Automotive Museum where I'm spending the day with the 2022 IndyCar Series Champion. Okay, to my right, two-time IndyCar Series Champion, Mr. Will Power. How does that two-time thing sound to you? <laughs> yeah, it sounds amazing. Uh, a long time between the two championships too, so it's an eight year eight years since I, I won my last championship. So very satisfying, a little, little bit older now. Um, so I'm not on this massive high, but just really enjoyed the journey and the process of putting a really good season together. Talk about that season, the highs and the lows, now yeah. the ultimate high. Yeah, it was, uh, it was a very consistent season. I had nine podium finishes. So more than 50% of the time we were on the podium, uh, you know, it was 17 race series. and. Uh, I haven't had a season like that in my career, so really, really strong season. Um, I've surpassed Mario Andretti in, in pole positions, which is an amazing accomplishment for me and the team. Um, and uh, I'm gonna really soak this one up. I'm gonna enjoy the off season. Well, you talked about your first win. That was in 2014, here we are in 2022. Talk about what it was like back then, your life, your career, to where you are now, how the win is different. It, it was quite different. I didn't have a kid back then. There was a lot of pressure to win. One there, I, I, I wasn't a champion, but I was winning a lot of races, a lot of pole positions, leading laps. Um, I think I had had three runner-up finishes, really close going to the last race. So that was a massive relief, just like a, oh, at last. This one's just, you know, the uh, combination of just putting everything together, years of experience and sort of maintaining that speed and winning a championship in your 40s is, uh, is pretty cool. Tom Brady gave me some inspiration to know that you can still perform <laughs> at a very high level in your 40s. Of course you can. I mean, not too yeah. long ago, in between the two wins, a little thing happened in 2018. You won yes. the Indianapolis 500. Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, You've got some good hardware there. I've had a fantastic <laughs> career. Um, very fortunate to drive for Roger Penske, best team in the series, and you know, it gives me the opportunity to, to win week in, week out. And you know, I've won a 500, I've won two championships, I've got the all time pole record. So if I stopped right now, I would be perfectly fine with my career. Well, you name dropped Mario Andretti. You beat him, of course, in the pole record. Yeah. You guys had a little conversation. He's so lovely and gracious. I'm sure he was just over the moon for you. He's an absolute icon of the sport, and he was one of my heroes growing up. So it just blows my mind that my name's up there with Mario, and uh, I have uh, tremendous respect for Mario and his whole the whole Andretti family. I was, you know, a big fan of Michael's as well, Michael Andretti, when I was growing up. So. It is really surreal that I'm surrounded by those names. Well, we're talking about IndyCar history. We have some IndyCar history behind us. Yes. And I know, of course, you're a car aficionado, as you should be. Yes, so, well, on open wheel cars for sure. Walk me through what we have here. Because yeah. by the way, let's let's tell people we're in the vault of the Peterson yeah. Museum yeah, right you're, now. You're in the vault. You see some pretty special stuff down here. Yeah. It's kind of like the vault of uh, the Indianapolis Motor Speedway Museum. It's a similar thing. There's a bunch of cars that not everyone sees. So. Or what do we have back here? AJ Foyt, four-time Indianapolis 500 winner. Oh, oh they have a year. 1981. 1981. There you go. There you 1980s go. 1980s car. They had the wings um, starting to take shape once they started running all this aerodynamical stuff. The the front wing. The rear wing, the floor creates downforce like an upside down plane wing and 
faster you go, the more it sucks it to the ground. So, yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. What do we got? This yeah. is Bobby Rahal's car. This would be a late 90s, early 2000s. Cast His car. son is a good friend of Young Hollywood. We love speaking with him. Yeah. Graham yeah, is yeah. a phenomenal driver. Yeah. His dad was a phenomenal driver and a hero of mine growing up. I think I remember watching this car race at the Gold Coast when they used to go down to Australia. These things were beasts. You know, these things had 900 horsepower. Obviously a beautiful looking car. It looks like a fighter jet. It does. Uh, this is my favorite Indy car, sh favorite shape designed Indy car, this era. These, these era cars were really, really sleek. It was in the chassis competition era where now we just have a, a common chassis. You, you cannot build your own chassis. You must run uh, a Delara chassis, so they're all the same. In, these, these, in this era, yeah. um, you, know, you, you had Reynard, you had Lola, you had Swift, you had all these different chassis manufacturers, so it really created a, a, a beautiful car because you know, they were in competition, so obviously yeah. the design really mattered. This is, uh, this is Robbie Gordon's car. This is um, a late 90s car. It's got the pop-off valve, it's got the turbo, uh, and it would have, it, it's set up for a super speedway. You see, these wings are much bigger. It would be for a road course. This would be like an Indianapolis Interesting. 500 car. So these, these one, this configuration of wings uh, is set up to do 200 and these things were doing like 250 mile an hour. Uh, this is like a road course configuration, bigger wings, a bit more drag, so the air holds it back. And they were, they were still getting close to 200 mile an hour on the straights, like at Long Beach. You know, this, that's what you would race at Long Beach. That's what you'd race at Indianapolis. See, the thing is, I grew up in Australia, so all my uh, cars as a kid, a teenager, you wanted a like a Holden Commodore, yeah, things that you don't have over here. So I don't actually know all the, the you know, 60, 70 cars that, that you'd, you'd want to restore and drive. That makes yeah. a lot of sense. So we'll yeah. give you some slack today. Yeah, you could, yeah, I know. You probably think this guy knows nothing about these this cars. This Aussie but, doesn't know anything yeah. about American cars, but that's yeah. okay. That's There's okay, all, yeah, except I'm Chevy, like, of course. We'll take a walk around, but we yeah. had to start here. This is Saddam Hussein's. Saddam Hussein's car. Now that's gonna have some thick glass. Not really. That's crazy, huh? We're coming oh, up wow. on the Pope's car. That's pretty cool. Maybe just good vibes. Send your way. Yes. Here. Here's the yes. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> now that's my style. This just is your walk style. Walk around like that. Everyone can see you. Uh, Ghostbusters. There is some ridiculous stuff down here. Let me tell you. Now that, you could be cruising downtown in that. Maybe, no? not my stuff. Yeah, no, definitely not. <laughs> no, no. I need like a vintage Porsche. Yeah, that's That's my that's pretty cool. goal to have. Air, air cooled, they don't even have like, you have to actually be going to cool the engine. Okay, this car is iconic for a very special reason. Thelma and Louise. Okay. Not just because Do they drive over a cliff? Is that it? <laughs> is that what happens? Maybe. Is it something you weird like that? You want me to like tell that? you? Well, the car wouldn't be here if they drove over the cliff, so. Uh, it's called movie magic. So yeah, they may no. so have they driven off that. a cliff. Oh, I shouldn't have, you shouldn't have told me. No, that's ruined the whole I said thing. maybe they did. Yeah, okay. But they could have driven off into the vision, sunset vision into. in this car. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, someone restored it, look. That's Rolls what it Royce like. Phantom, wow. Top speed, 80 miles per hour. Oh my God. That's too slow a, for you. Look at that car. Yeah, that's some serious wheel. That's some serious weight. Um, okay, well, we've had enough history for the day at Peterson. Now we're gonna go upstairs. We're gonna leave the vault and we're gonna play some games. Oh, that sounds like fun. You into it? Sounds like some mental games and racing games. Mental games and racing games. Well, the racing game will be interesting. Cause that sounds like you're gonna race me. I won't beat you, how about that? I don't know. Okay, well, our next stop at the Peterson is the Forza Motorsport Racing Experience. You feel at home in here? When I see those simulators, that's right at home. I have one sitting in my uh, basement, so I'm, uh, I'm ready to go. <laughs> They've cleared this place out just for you, so. Wow. Yeah. Well, there's a leaderboard there, so there's a bunch of names, and I want to get my name at the top of that leaderboard. Okay, we're going to try our hardest, but first, before we play that game, I have another kind of game for you. Okay. Okay, now your name, Will Howard, that's mm -hmm. kind of a cool name, right? Yeah. Now, 
Do you know the definition of willpower? Yeah. So the definition of willpower, to restrain impulses, right? Yes. Okay, so we're gonna go through a category. Each category, we're gonna say, if you didn't have willpower, right. if you didn't have willpower, what would you give into in the following categories? Okay. Okay, if Let's you go. didn't have willpower. Yes. Okay, shopping. Uh, Louis Vuitton. Mm -hmm. Well, that's my wife, yeah. myself. <laughs> Oh yeah. Yeah, so, yeah. I was just thinking of a wife because I never shop for anything. Nothing. Yeah, no, I don't, I don't really do that. Well, there you <laughs> Everything's go. Everything's bought online. I, yeah. Okay. Food. I know you're a health nut. Oh, I so... know. I know. Food would be chocolate. For me. Chocolate. Yeah, okay. chocolate. Yeah. Big problem. Bad civilian driving. It's a double bird. It's what I'm. I there's definitely a lot of that. A lot of pictures out there of me with my favorite gesture. Correct, yeah, double yeah. bird. Yeah I, yeah, I got you. Bad indie car driving. Bad indie car driving. If you didn't have willpower, I, what would you do? Yeah, to the other competitor. Correct. That's, um, I've done many things uh, out of the car afterwards. I'm not big on paying back on the track. I don't usually do that because it's too dangerous. Sure. I'll certainly go see them after. Uh, parenting. You have a five-year-old, Mr. Yeah. Little Bo. Oh yeah, there's, there's a lot. Like I give in to him like that. It's a real problem. Yeah. Anything? Yeah, a lot of stuff. <laughs> if he wants the pad, the phone, the, you know, I want the cookies. Uh, yeah, my wife's always. So you have no willpower whatsoever. I'm pretty. He can. Yeah, he can melt my heart pretty quickly. That little man. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, I'm a sucker for kids. There you go. Exercise routine. That's a big one. Like, you know, obviously you'll just sit on the couch and eat bad and watch a Netflix something. I mean, yeah. Yeah, you gotta get off the couch, get off the screen. Of course. Just start it, even if you don't want to do it. Yeah. As soon as you start it, you're doing it. Absolutely. Okay, uh, last one, S on social media. Yeah, Instagram. You know, Instagram, Twitter, the flicking, the Facebook, the, the pictures, the, yeah. Dopamine going your brain every yeah. time you see a new picture. It's yeah. very, very addictive. So, what kind of willpower do you have to have to not comment? Like, shut up, stop. Oh, it. you mean like yeah. someone saying nasty or stuff? Or like the willpower on social? I mean the willpower social. to just not get on it. That's yeah. what I. That's oh, what that I too, too. Yeah, oh yeah, you need willpower just to not. It's addictive. So how do you not get on it then? Yeah, you. Now I've got this new thing that I do now. What? I play every time I go to get on the social media. Instead of getting on social media, I play a brain game. I play like a Lumosity or Ooh. Big Brain Academy, these ones, these, I don't know, yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. And that's, that's so much better for you. It's crazy how much better you feel and sharper you are. That's a great tip. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, do that. It'll, you'll be better. Okay, we're gonna move from these red seats to those seats in The Sims. Let's are you it. ready to do it? I'm ready to go. Now, are you gonna teach me stuff or what's gonna happen here? Uh, we're gonna see what track that the the uh, all time records are on. I, I don't know what it is, the leaderboard. So yeah. we've gotta see what that is. Uh -huh. Then that'll be the track that we do. Let's do it. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> we're both so <stuck. laughs> Slippery as all get out. Oh, oh no. I'm getting like aquaplane. Oh, no. Oh. Line, another track, ABS, do you yeah. want? Oh, more rain. Oh my <laughs> God. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Will, how did you do? Yeah, I did, uh, did okay. They have a lot of driving aids on there, so that really slows you up. But um, I think to get on that board, you need to Learn the track, take all the driving aids off, um, and then you'd be good. So you need a third IndyCar Series championship to get on the board, is what you're saying? Maybe. That's, yeah, pretty much, yeah. It's that serious. Okay, so we'll see you back here this time next year. This time next year. <laughs> I am here for it. I'll be there with you.